Welcome back guys to a new Pixel Peepers camera comparison, this time between the mother of all camera phones, Huawei Mate 20 Pro, and one of the best cameras in 2018 for a phone, the Google Pixel 3. As usual, we start with a low light video. So, this is the front camera test, 1080p video. This is how the stabilization looks. They both look okay. As you can see, it's snowing outside. And my ass has already frozen. So, this is the front camera test 1080p video. This is how the stabilization looks. They both look okay. As you can see, it's snow on the outside. And my ass has already frozen. Front camera videos on both phones are pretty well stabilized, but the big difference here is in noise, Pixel 3 having much more of it. The Mate 20 Pro is much softer, and this time I think it surprisingly does a better job with colors and exposure also. As you might got used to, Pixel's sound recording is crap, but the Mate is not that far off either. And this is 4K, 30 frames per second. Huawei again looks like the smoother phone. Yeah, there is so much light. And this is 4K, 30 frames per second. Huawei again looks like the smoother phone. And it gathers so much light. Huawei finally decided to include video stabilization in 4K for the Mate 20 Pro, called AIS, and sincerely is not that great, at least in low light. The video is stable, but there is lots of wobbling and fuzziness when walking. Pixel does a better job in this regard. Where Huawei takes the lead is again in color rendition and noise reduction. This is 1080p from the back camera, 30 frames per second. Huawei looks smoother. Seems to do a very good job. Man, it's freezing outside. This is 1080p from the back camera, 30 frames per second. Huawei looks smoother. To do a very good job. Man, it's freezing outside. 1080p videos on both phones are slightly better stabilized than 4K videos and both suffer from that fuzziness when walking. 
In all honesty, I don't really like the results of either phone, but it was a very difficult scene to record, being very dark with light sources and light reflections everywhere. An iPhone or a Samsung could have done a much better job here. Also, sound is better on Huawei, but they both fall behind a Sony or a Samsung in this department. But let's continue to the good stuff, low light photo comparison. So let's get the selfie out of the way and as you might expect, Pixel 3 still has the best selfie camera around. It was very dark outside, but it managed to take a good photo with great exposure and contrast, good colors and decent details and sharpness. Huawei is not that far off, but it suffers a bit from a light haze that slightly softened the entire photo, losing contrast. Now for back camera photos, we shot in both regular auto mode and night mode with both phones. So let's talk about each individual shooting mode. HDR plus auto on the Pixel is doing the least impressive job in this comparison. The exposure is ok, but not great. Colors are ok, but slightly on the warm side. There is some noise present and the overall details are good, but nothing to write home about. Switching to night sight on the Pixel and you will see a difference, and it's only getting better as the scene is darker. Indoors, in decent light, the differences are not great, but night sight is still able to gather slightly better details and a better exposure with a wider dynamic range. Dim the lights any further and night sight is doing an even better job, managing to pull much more light in the photo than the regular HDR plus mode. The only drawback is that it accentuates even further the yellow tint of the photo. Moving on to Huawei, low light is where it shines. The regular auto mode is doing a very good job in keeping the photo noise free, with good exposure, great color reproductions and wide dynamic range. But detail rendition is pretty inconsistent. In some photos the noise reduction algorithm is too aggressive and softens the textures, but in other situations it manages to retain more detail than in all other competing photos. Switching to night mode, the Mate 20 Pro is able to expose the scene perfectly, sometimes even going a little overexposed, just like the night sight does on the Pixel. But the good thing about the night mode on the Huawei is that it is able to keep the scene natural, with great colors and dynamic range. Details again are inconsistent. Sometimes it's the best on both phones, other times it's slightly softer than the regular auto shot on the Mate. What is certain is that the Mate 20 Pro does a better job than the Pixel in low light. But you just have to shoot in both auto and the night mode and pick the better photo, as there is no absolute way in knowing which of the Mate 20 Pro shooting modes will deliver. Also, I applaud Huawei for toning down the AI processing. Compared to the P20 Pro, the Mate delivers much more natural colors with less over sharpening and vignetting. This is why all the photos shot in this comparison with the Mate were with master AI on. On the other note, I chose not to test the wide angle or the telephoto camera in this comparison, as it would have been an unfair comparison. Pixel 3 having only one camera sensor lacking the versatility that the Huawei phone can offer. I will do an in-depth analysis of all the Mate 20 Pro's sensors in a different standalone review of the phone. Also don't forget to vote in the poll for the phone you think did a better job here and see you in a few days for the daylight comparison. This is Pixel Peepers signing out.